Tape on today's Bertice Berry show next. What would you do if you were raped, became pregnant through that rape, were forced to give up your child? You've already had to deal with the guilt and the shame of the rape. But now the guilt and the isolation of knowing that your child is a product of rape and somewhere out there. Today we're going to talk to women who became pregnant through rape and meet the children that they were forced to give up. This is Diane Hoover. 53 years ago, she was raped and became pregnant. Diane, what happened 53 years ago? Well, my, my mother and father were going through a divorce and my mother brought my sister and I out here to California when we were very young and I was just barely 15. Mm. And I had, uh, was with my relatives, uh, and we were having, getting ready to have a barbecue. And um, a gentleman that was there that was a, worked with a friend of my uncle's, and uh, he was uh, very friendly and everything, and he asked me if I wanted to go with him, take a ride with him back to the, the little town where he lived, and uh, get pick up some coats and some other things for the barbecue. And I said, yes, I'd like to. And uh, so I went with him and he said he had to get something out of where he lived, was, which was upstairs. So we went upstairs and uh, he, he poured me some Coke, uh, which I thought was Coke, tasted like Coke. And then he went into the bathroom and, um, and I don't know, something was in the Coke because I don't remember anything. And mm -hmm. when I came, came to, I was crying and I had blood on my slip mm -hmm. and it wasn't I don't remember any violence any forceful anything but I knew that something had happened to me mm -hmm. and I was very very frightened 15 years old you didn't know a lot then I didn't know anything <laughs> right but mm -hmm. you knew something had happened when I did knew you think it happened yes. when did, did you tell your parents uh, not right away because I was I was frightened I was just so scared and I didn't know really what to say to them and but uh, it wasn't too long till I began to, I missed my period. Mm -hmm. And um, so then I sort of put two and two together. I m must be pregnant. And uh, so it wasn't very long after that that I told my mother. And I don't remember what I said to her. I don't remember this response that she had. You don't remember whether or not you told her that this man raped you or? No, it was uh, somewhat later that um, the the man that she was seeing at the time which turned out to be my stepfather she eventually married him they uh filed a report a police report mm -hmm. and i do remember going to the to the police station and i remember a report filed but then um donna's father uh, i guess became frightened and when he was notified and he left town mm -hmm. but but initially they didn't file a report what did how did they respond to you uh, I, d I really don't remember. My, my mother was very involved with this man, it w and it was just like, what a, uh, I don't really know how she felt because she didn't sit down and talk to me and, mm -hmm. and say anything to me. No rape crisis centers at the time, Nothing. no place to Nothing. go. You were sent to a home for unwed mothers. She took me. She and my stepfather took me and uh, with a little suitcase and took me inside and just dropped me off there. Mm. Just. Uh, we went in the office and, and I think she filled out some papers or something and she just uh, left me there and never, never got in touch with me during the time I was at the, at the home at all. Completely no call, alone. A, a sort of abandoned, mm -hmm. sort of like, you know. I, I read that you had one dress the whole time and you were just one there dress. with your one dress uh -huh. and no family, no support. No, nothing, nothing, nobody. And just so frightened. You know? What? What bothered me so when I read about this was that this is something that happens to you. You're a young girl, no information, no anything, and you're just dropped off in this place like you had done something wrong. But you hadn't done anything wrong. I hadn't done anything wrong, no. Then you gave birth to your child. Mm -hmm. Did you see her? I saw her, but I, I don't recall any bonding or nursing or anything. I don't recall anything like that. I didn't remember anything of the time of year it was except it had to be around Christmas because they had a Christmas tree and I'm gonna cry at this no. uh, walking around the Christmas tree I was thinking of the birth of Jesus and I was thinking about that and mm -hmm. I remember that part that stays in my mind mm -hmm. and um, and that I was big so it must have been close mm -hmm. to the sea she was born in January See, 
It is so tragic that such an important event has to be blocked out of your memory because of how this child comes. Did you go through a period where you were wondering where she was or, or because she was put up for adoption, right? Yes, uh -huh, when she was three days old. Three days old? Yes. Did you think about her? There were times when I, uh, the memory would flash through my mind of me walking up the steps with her in my arms and just giving her over to a man and a woman and, and, and then just kind of becoming a nothing. I just. Mm -hmm. You were married afterwards, later yes. on. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell your husband anything about this? Never told him. And he died not knowing? Mm -hmm. Did you have any support after that? No. Even the birth certificate said something like the father, you were supposed to marry him, but he went away. Mm -hmm. I mean, so there's this whole fantasy made up mm -hmm. about this existence. And my, and my father, uh, back in, uh, in uh, Missouri, he never knew that I went through that either. Mm. I wasn't able to, I didn't share it with anybody. Um, it, 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 I mean, it's so hard because this is a situation where you can't, it's hard to talk to anyone. It's hard to say anything to anybody about it. I, I, I know this personally. It is. Where you can't admit to anyone else what has happened to you. But it's not your fault. That's true. And that this okay. child is here is not your fault. Right. You finally saw your child again, how many years later? 51 years. 51 years. And you've only seen her twice. Right. Well. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. She is wonderful. Yes. And she's here today. Stay with us.